A new map for DMZ Building 21 is finally here, and with it comes a brand new Easter egg that can grant you six free rewards, all from extracting with a secret weapon case that is hidden in Building 21 for an Easter egg, and we'll be showing you how to do it the fast and easiest way, as well as showing you all six rewards from Building 21. Let's jump right into it, but if you want to make your way back here for more DMZ guides and content like this, then consider subscribing to the channel. But let's talk weapon case. When you think of one, you think of the Juggernaut on Almazra, but there are no Juggernauts here. This is actually not even hidden behind a main boss fight, which is really good. But it is hidden behind deploying into Building 21, which is pretty difficult in itself, as you're going to need to have a Building 21 key card. You can find these on our Masra through several different methods, such as getting them from supply drops that have dropped from the world event, from SAM sites that have shot down planes with supply drops, from legendary crates, from eliminating HVTs. Once you've found one and exfilled with it, you'll then be able to deploy into Building 21. Now, if you're not going into this with a full team of three, then you're going to really struggle, because there are four teams teams of three that can play in building 21 at once and a ton of very strong AI. So it is crucial that you do this as early on into the game as possible to guarantee yourself some success. Exactly one minute into your building 21 game, you'll see a prompt on your screen saying security lock hacks in progress with a one minute countdown. So you'll have to wait for that one minute to count down before you can start going for the case. Once that minute's over, make your way through the garage into the basement hallway and you'll be looking for this sign that says B1. Then just take a left and you'll notice that these doors are right here that will lead us into a room called the data center. This is really important because the main step of the Easter egg to unlock the weapon case is in the data center. You're going to go up to this very specific server point here and you get a prompt to hack the security system. And you'll need to hold down your interact button the entire time in order to fully hack the security system. And when you're doing this, AI will start spawning in and try and take you down. So one player does this while the other two are just protecting and killing the AI. And you'll see the hacking is a success. And then there'll be a prompt on the screen saying data center hacked armory room is now accessible and this is the room that we need in order to get ourselves the weapon case now the armory room is going to be on the third floor of building 21 so get to your nearest staircase in our case it was the staircase to b1 2 and 3 there is a chance that if you get to the third level the door prompt might say door stuck and you might have to run around to the other side of the map and open the top floor door from a different staircase and up here we go to b3 and you'll now be on the lab floor you'll have a ton of these shadow company ai as well as the wilson which is this turret that just has laser precision shooting at you so you want to be extremely extremely careful here because the chances of going down are just very high because that thing is crazy the ai is crazy but you're going to be running across the side of this top floor following where we do and you'll enter the armory room here there's two entrances for it one that we came in through here and then there's another on the opposite side but inside of the armory room you're going to find a ton of rare loot crates a ton of amazing loot such as two and three tier plated vests a durable gas mask but the main thing is this safe that's in the middle of the room you want to go up to it and interact to start the drill sequence and you're going to be waiting for this drill to fully complete now at this time none of the ai seem to be aware of your presence although they'll still be looming around outside but you just want to wait until the safe is fully unlocked and when you go up to the safe you'll notice that there will be a weapon case that you can pick up straight out of the safe so unlike with the jug that drops the weapon case this is simply just found in a safe. You don't have to kill any specific AI bosses or anything. The case should just be in the safe. Now, chances of the case being in the safe is very likely, although out of seven games that we played, we found it six times. So there's a chance that it might not always be in there, but most times it will be. Now, depending on when in the game you manage to get in that room and open the safe and get the case, an X full point might have spawned. If it hasn't already, your best bet is to try and stay in that room for a little bit until one becomes available or start running around the map because unlike Al Mazra, where it's very noticeable by other players that a weapon case is picked up and being carried around the prompt appears on screen for all players but it's not as easy to track the player that has it on them but once you've got the case you just want to make your way to the nearest exfil point possible and on this map the way to exfil is that there are elevators that you need to call and it's going to start a timer where you're going to be waiting for the elevator doors to open a little bit like when you call in the helicopter and you're waiting a while for the helicopter to appear and regardless of what exfil point you choose you need to be extremely careful because the ai are obviously aware that you've called an elevator and there will be more ai spawning towards you and near that elevator
elevator. But once the door is open, you'll get a prompt to go inside and then you'll want to simply interact with the elevator in order to close the doors. There'll be a further 15 second countdown where you'll need to survive from AI or real players. But once you've exfilled successfully, you will have granted yourself one of the six free rewards. And in order to get all six rewards, you're going to need to exfil six times with this weapon case. So that means you're going to need at least six access cards in order to go to building 21 six times. So it's definitely a much more tedious process than it was in our Mazra with the jug weapon case. So let's now go through all six weapon case rewards you get from building 21. Yeah. So the first free reward you get when you exfil with the case is this weapon charm called going bark of a dog with night vision goggles on as you think this is quite a cool one the second free reward you get is a calling card that's animated called weapon rover which is a calling card of the wilson that tries to kill you on the third floor which plays in the theme of building 21 really nicely i like that the third reward you get is a weapon sticker called raw which is of a blue tiger if anyone can enlighten me on the narrative lore behind that i'd really appreciate that but the fourth reward is pretty cool this is a company sniper emblem which is of course the patch logo for shadow company although within that main thing we now have a rook chess piece and that's really interesting because in the original modern warfare 2 there was a task force one for one member called rook who was killed by shadow company our second to last unlock is a camo cloud vehicle skin for the heavy chopper which i feel is a bit of a weird reward seeing as you never see this in dmz but of course the main thing you care about is the final reward so the sixth and final reward is a really awesome looking blueprint for the chimera called the silver tox it's a really unique looking blueprint with a lot of red on those attachments and it looks fantastic but unfortunately right now if i go into game and try and show you it for some reason it does not load this amazing custom camo on it i'm sure by the time you unlock it that will be completely fixed and this won't be an issue anymore but right now you can't actually see the cool camo in game now some tips to help you get this weapon case x feel as easy as possible because by the time you're watching this video everyone in your building 21 games are going to be going for this so to make this easier you might want to actually go to the third floor where the armory room is and wait for another team to do the hack because by the time they've ran from the downstairs up three floors to get to the armory room you could already be there get the drill done and then get the weapon case out of the safe it is a really dirty tactic within the dmz especially building 21 you just need to do whatever you can to survive and exfil with that weapon case some other tips are you might be waiting a lot longer for the exfil point to appear than how you've seen it in our games and it seems to be complete random how long you have to wait before before the gas starts coming in for an exfil to appear but you're gonna have to deal with that wilson at some point but there's also the chance of velican to spawn in who is a boss from the shadow company who has a grenade launcher and he will be pummeling you with grenade launchers on that top floor if you come up against him so the best way is to just absolutely tank him down with your whole team going at him as soon as you see him because that guy is gonna make your life hell and if you do kill him he drops the grenade launcher which you can take with you and use in building 21 and exfil with it and have it in your contraband because that is a gun that does not exist in any other mode in modern warfare 2 now another incredible tip is to run this combination if you're going for the weapon case this is the bryson 890 with the riot shield if you have two insured slots this is a god tier combination for the bryson 890 i've got the bryson shredder barrel and this is the tuning i've got the sa mx50 muzzle and this is the tuning. Got the 12 shell mag, the demo X50 tactical pump guard, and these are the tunings. And then the sword off mod. If you have two out of the three players running this, and then another player running some sort of SMG or AR for those PvP moments. This is such a good combination as the right shield on your back is going to protect you from those AI and then this shotgun just destroys AI. Best of luck if you're trying to exfil with the weapon case in building 21. If any of you guys want to run some squads, put your Activision IDs down in the comment section. Drop a like on this video if you learned something new and subscribe for more DMZ content to come.